Do not put children into direct sunlight at the peak hours of the day where they're going to get a sunburn. It is ridiculously dangerous. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Miranveer Singh and I'm an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK and today we're going to be going through some TikToks about sunburn. Sunburn is so important because it can cause severe damage to your skin, not only because of ultraviolet radiation that can cause skin cancer, but also because the heat and the intensity from the sun can cause serious conditions known as heat stroke or heat exhaustion. So let's get into it. I'm out sunbathing in the garden yesterday and I forgot to take my face mask off. I'm really not happy guys. How am I meant to go to work like this? This first guy, it's an interesting type of mask. I've seen this somewhere before. He's not actually got a sunburn. He's actually using one of the filters. I'm not sure whether it's from TikTok or Instagram or something like that, but you can see the clear definition and the lines and there's slight movement and things. So there's a little bit of camera trickery going on, but yeah, great filter. He's got many millions of views from this actually compared to lots of other people. So he's done well, gathered a lot of followers as a result, I'm guessing. He's obviously not worn any SPF. He's nice and pink like a salmon. And as you can see, his son has imprinted his face onto his tummy and chest area. That's called erythema. So this is not a deep burn within the skin. It's of the superficial layer and it's called erythema or redness of the skin. And it's leaving an impression because you're pressing the capillaries at the surface. And as the blood is moved away, it leaves an imprint. And as the face is moved away from the abdomen, the blood returns and therefore it becomes red pink again afterwards. To wear some screen to her graduation ceremony. This person was covered and they've got burnt in the areas of where the sun was able to reach their skin. You've got to remember you must stay covered up or at least be in the shade. And if you're not in the shade, then you've got to wear SPF. This will protect your skin. I'm going to show you another clip here of comparing someone who's not wearing SPF compared to someone who is and actually the amount of UV radiation that the skin absorbs and how your skin is protected. So let's go and check that out. As you can see from here, the skin is completely protected and therefore you're not going to get skin damage and you're not going to get the consequences of the UV radiation and you're going to decrease your risk of getting skin cancer. Now, the most important thing is to stay away from the sun in the peak hours of the day when the sun is at its most highest. That's when it's at its most powerful. That's when you're going to get hit with the most amount of radiation. Staying in the shade, staying covered up, at least wearing SPF cream are important features and factors. This guy is some kind of, this guy's like a lizard man. He's peeling off his skin. He thinks he's a lizard or something like that, shedding his skin. Again, this is the burnt layer or the dead layer of the epidermis, the top layer of the skin that is now coming off. Yes, it looks funky, looks a bit sickening, but that is what happens. That's what how you that's how you damage your skin and you're left with the raw skin underneath. And remember, only damaging your skin more is going to increase your risk of cancers. Cancer is something that is not fun to have. Right. Okay, not really happy with this one. We've got a very young child here who's been exposed to the sun and it looks like they've suffered from sun exposure. I don't know whether this is either camera trickery or whether it's true. So I'm not gonna make a comment, but I'm just gonna make a factual statement, a very important statement. Do not put children into direct sunlight at the peak hours of the day where they're gonna get a sunburn. It is ridiculously dangerous not only because they're damaging the skin, their skin is not as tough as ours. They are more likely to get dehydrated, they're more likely to suffer the complications of sun damage, heat stroke, exhaustion. These are very serious conditions that can cause electrolyte imbalances, cerebral edema. These things have serious consequences that can lead to death. So it's not something that should be taken as a joke or something to forget about. Remember, young children should be kept in the shade, SPF should be worn, they should be wearing full length clothing or th hats like a think of a sombrero, something large and broad to cover their head, neck, shoulder areas, plenty of water, massively important. Going out into direct sunlight is not good. There is no benefit from it. Short periods, short bursts, yes, 
that's not an issue. When the sun is at its lowest, yes, it's much safer. The UV radiation is much less. Let's check out the next one. Okay, so right here what we can see is blisters. Blisters are a common complication of what can happen from excessive heat exposure to the skin. And when the skin is damaged, it releases fluid known as serous fluid, and this forms a blister. Now the medical advice that we give is never break or de-roof a blister, so never pop a blister, because the skin underneath is very raw and then is highly likely to get an infection. And as you can see, this person here has done the correct thing and they've left the blister in place. But yes, they look ugly and they can be painful. The skin underneath is raw and that is very painful in itself. Your skin ever gets infected, you must seek advice and see the GP so that they can assess the skin because you possibly may need antibiotics. We get people coming to our accident and emergency all the time when the sun is at its highest and the UV radiation is at its highest and people are coming in with all the different complications and all these things can be prevented. It is all a matter of simple prevention. So remember, when it's summer, when the sun is at its highest, when the UV radiation is high, protect yourself, stay hydrated, stay in the shade, cover up, drink plenty of water, make sure you're keeping aware of what the children are doing and all the complications that come because of sun damage and dehydration, all those complications can be avoided. Remember, stay safe, look after yourselves and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.